Hello everyone, it's Jack here and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. Today is episode 14 and welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Windmill of Dreams and that was, that was a really weird intro. Uh, so yeah, so today we're going to be doing some more work on our power source. Uh, I was originally going to go straight towards uh, making some forestry tree farms because uh, we do need a decent supply of wheat, uh, timber, uh, rubber and all that type of stuff but that can wait because, uh, oh you can see what I've been doing over there, I'll show you that in a second. Um, yeah, the, the forestry farms can wait for now. Uh, because we actually need to upgrade our power source a little bit because I've now I've got all the machines running. Our MFSU is dying. It's taken ages to charge our red sun energy cell. And oh, it, it, there's just so much stuff going on that our windmills can't really keep up. So uh, I've gone and prepared a little bit of um, materials ready for this. Uh, oh, it's in this safe. Here we go. Uh, there is a silicon plate, carbon plates, and advanced alloy. Now you might be wondering what I'm going to make and this up here is going to give it completely away. I should have really got rid of it. Uh, so we're going to be making some of these advanced solar panels which do actually require the original solar panels which is some glass panes, electronic circuits, generators and silicon plates. And uh, then we need advanced machine blocks and so on. Some iridium glass panes which is compressed uh, uranium with uh, all that type of stuff. So there's lots of things we've got to do before we actually get started. So. Yeah, we'll get started on that in a second. Um, there's a few things I just want to go over beforehand. So I've gone and worked on my base a little bit in between episodes. I got the light and sorted so there's no longer all these horrible torches on the floor. It's now got these lovely glowstone lamps and sulfur torches on the wall. If you're wondering how to make the sulfur torches, it's just some of this uh, stuff in here. Uh, where is it? I had some sulfur in one of these chests. Oh, uh, I've misplaced it. Well, let's just say it's sulfur and um, sticks, there's some sulfur, it's sulfur and sticks and they make these lovely blue torches and the cool thing about them is they light one block further than normal torches which is cool. Uh, the rest of the floors have got um, cage lamps, inverted cage lamps on them and um, that's lighting this up in these little patterns here and it's uh, keeping the floors nice and lit up and there's no torches on the floor and that's the entire base except for the top floor which I've still got to finish off, uh, I ran out of cage lamps. While we're up here, um, I've gone and added another MFE up here with a transformer and put the bat box back down. So you have got lots of power storage up here. At the moment, uh, all of this is being drained by these engines and our MFSU that's filling up downstairs. And this at the moment is currently charging. Um, I made four of these redstone, uh, not redstone, these electric engines, which um, uh, let's uh, get this. Uh, electric engines. Now these are a little bit of uh, tin gears, pistons and tin, and uh, it all goes together. And uh, you get um, these, and these are charging uh, this up. Oh, oh, it's not about Sky support. Oh, he's having problems with internet. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, the rest of the stuff that's uh, been going on around the base. So I'm just looking at my notepad because I've got a, I've got a full notepad that's filling up my entire second monitor, and it's just full of text. And um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a lot of stuff I've done. Uh, you might be seeing the stone brick, uh, the cracked stone brick. Well, I'll get to that in a second. First of all. I've got this, now this is my awesome sword of awesomeness which I enchanted a few moments ago. Uh, Luton 2, Smite 4, Disjunction 3, Vorpal 2 and Knockback 2. Um, I tried to put fire aspect on it and it didn't work but I might try again uh, with a lower enchanted. I was using enchanted books for it and that's how I got all the good enchantments on it. Uh, so yeah, onto all these cracked stone bricks, you might be wondering what this is. Well, I've got this little cool thing here. It's a crumble horn. And what this is, this was from a quest ram that are in the twilight forest. And uh, we, I went and completed a quest dram along with another member of the server, Starboy101. Uh, and uh, we went and uh, got this quest dram on his live stream. Now I'll leave a link to the live stream highlight in the description below in case you want to go and watch it because it was it was a lot of fun. It, uh, basically a quest dram is a giant sheep in the twilight forest. Uh, you give it one of each different colour of wool that's in the game and it will give you a block of diamond, a block of emerald, a block of gold, a block of iron and a crumble horn. And uh, I got the crumble horn, I, left, I let Star have everything else because I wanted the crumble horn because um, it does something pretty cool. So if you hold it back, it will uh, break all of the uh, stone brick. It will turn cobble, uh, stone into cobblestone and then cobblestone into gravel. And uh, yes, oh, it glitched out a little bit there. You've got to be very careful though because the usages go down extremely quick. Uh, so now that I've made a mess of my basement, I can show you something else I've made. I've got this here. Um... 
so this is an iron tank and it's full of oil which I've been pumping from over in the distance and I've got these things here these are liquid conduits and I've been bringing the oil over in these portable tanks which are this <laughs> hardened glass which is lead ingots in an induction smelter so I've been doing a lot of work oh uh, hello there um, so that is most of the stuff that I've been doing uh, let's uh, head over here and I'll show you the final thing so I have uh, gone ahead and set this oil up over here I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it do 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 and uh, yeah so let's get over there quickly my jet I, I wish you could fly quicker I should do what H is doing and building a gravy chest plate um, so yeah, this is our oil thing. It's currently turned off at the moment because I was bringing the oil over and I've got to build a bigger tank back at home before I uh, bring any more oil over. Uh, which pipes? Uh, which pipes? Um, oh, oh god, I went and spelt which wrong. That's uh, brilliant of me. Why is my keyboard dead now? Uh, liquid ducts. Uh, uh, I, I actually quite need them. Um, you know what, uh, you can take a few, uh, you can take a few, uh, but not all of them. Okay, so the reason that's turned off is because I was bringing the stuff over and I've got to uh, make a um, bigger tank. And wow, I spelt that as well. I missed the uh, T and the H, T and the, uh, the, the H and the E of uh, the in that sentence. I can't talk today and can't type. It's brilliant. Um, so yeah, that is most of the stuff that's been going on. I'm um, just taking another look at my um, notepad to just see. Uh, no, that's about everything. Oh, I made a rolling machine here because uh, I've been making loads of the uh, advanced alloy. So if we take a look in this chest, we can grab some of this advanced alloy out. Now this is what I've made. Uh, lots of carbon plates, advanced alloy and silicon plates. So that's ready for our solar panels. Uh, oh, and we can put the crumble horn away as well before I end up losing it. So, uh, let's go and show you what the quarry's been doing. And after all these updates, we can actually get started uh, doing some stuff. So, these are all of the chests from our quarry. And I've got two diamond chests here because I want to show you some. So, all of these chests are full of cobblestone in here. Oh, there's some slime balls in there. I might need that for rubber later on. Uh, there's some ores in here which I can take out and put in my ores chest. Been uh, moving everything across so I can uh, keep inventory of all the stuff that I'm getting. Uh, some uranium, that's brilliant. Uh, there's some aluminium in there as well, which is pretty useless. I've just been turning it into blocks, really. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all of the stuff that's uh, from our quarry. We've got a lot of stuff, and it's not even mined down a third of the way yet. So, setting up the quarries was definitely a good idea. So now you can see in this chest, this is everything that I've gone and built, uh, gone and got from the quarry, which is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Now I'm going to go and start processing this, and we're going to see uh, how much stuff we get. So let's uh, bring down a stack of iron, uh, some tin, and some copper. Now bear in mind, the quarry isn't even half of the way done, so let's check our retina energy cell. We'll see if this needs a... Uh, no, we can't take that to the quarry just yet. Uh, this is one of the reasons I'm actually making solar panels because I want to do what Aux has done. He's put an electrical engine and a solar panel as a backup power source of the quarry. And uh, that is something that I want to do because it, it's proved itself really, really useful. Uh, so, yeah, now that that's processing, we can actually get started doing the uh, stuff what we uh, wanted to do with this episode. So, uh, let's bring up solar. Uh, there we go. So we're going to want to start off by making, uh, let's say, 10 of these solar panels. Uh, the advanced ones can wait for now because we are going to need uh, these advanced blocks. So I might get one or two of these advanced ones, but I think 10 of these uh, normal solar panels should be fine for now. Uh, we can put about six on our roof, uh, one at the quarry, and then leave three for our forestry farms when they set them up. So to start off, we're going to need these generators because these are probably going to take the longest to uh, actually make. We've got pretty much everything else all ready to go except for the circuits. So uh, for generators, we're going to need RE batteries. And because we're making 10 of these uh, solar panels, uh, we're going to need 10 RE batteries. Now that's a, a bit of a problem because I'm not sure if we've got the tin to do this or the copper cable neither. Uh, so we're going to have to double check. We'll grab a uh, oh, low on copper as well. Yes, um, I'm going to have to, you know what, I think I might have to process some ores beforehand unless oh, we've already got some copper cable, you know what, that's, uh, I've just been saved by the bell there, so <laughs> let's go and uh, make some more of this, this should be enough to uh, get enough to make these um, 
uh, batteries. So let's go and pop this together. We only need 10 of these as well, so that's not too bad. Not too much uh, hurt on our wallet. So yeah, that's uh, our RE batteries. And we're going to actually need some generators, which are the RE batteries. They're the refined iron and iron furnaces. So we're going to need a f little bit of iron. We shouldn't be in a problem with iron anymore, though, because... All of the iron that we've got is ridiculous if we uh, take a look upstairs. Although you have already seen, so uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm saying we take a look. And why am I using this uh, crafting table? I should really be uh, making use of the project table. I've got two of these blank plans in there as well, which I want to show you later when we make the solar panels. Uh, so let's go and do that. Uh, so that is uh, five, seven. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more iron. Hopefully this 22 should uh, help us uh, finish this off. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's quite very close, hasn't it? Uh, we can go and check how this is going on. Probably put some in the uh, smelter. So there's some tin dust. Pop that in there. We could do with a, a few overclockers for it as well, just to speed that up. Perfect. The rest of the dust can go in there for now. So, uh, let's grab some of this, and we will use this again. Uh, we'll put this up here, and we'll put this down here. So let's get 10 of these lovely little generators here. And that is the startings of our solar panels. Now we're going to need these electronic circuits. And that means we're going to need 20 electronic circuits. Because we're making 10 solar panels. Now if we take a look at the electronic circuits. There are a few ways we can do these. There's refined iron and redstone. Uh, there is... What else is there? Let's have a look. Uh, there's aluminium ingots. Which give you uh, the same amount. Uh, there are Electrum ingots, which give you two per one. Now, I haven't got any Electrum at the moment, and it's a little bit of a pain to make, so uh, I'm not going to do that just now. Uh, let's um, take a look. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be using refined iron and redstone, which uh, it's not too much of a problem. It's just a little bit annoying when you only get one per uh, copper cable. So, uh, I think we're going to have to wait for some of this copper uh, to actually be smelted before we continue, because, um, yeah, I don't think I've got too much, unless there's some in here. I can use up this dodgy copper. And what I mean by that is, it's got a different item ID to the ones in the barrels, so it doesn't actually sort, which is kind of weird. Let's use it this way as well. Uh, there we go. I like crafting it that way. I think it just it's a lot more tidier, uh, even though you use the same amount of uh, cable in the end. So let's do this. Now that's only a few circuits for now. And I always get that wrong. I don't know why I always think it's refined iron on the edges. So that's two for now. So I'm going to need another 18 of these circuits. So uh, I tell you what, I'm going to make a cut in the video here. And uh, I'm going to smelt some of this copper that we've been macerating. And I'll uh, catch you right back once uh, I've made the 18 circuits. And we're ready to uh, make the uh, solar panels. So I'm back now and I've just gone ahead and made the uh, last of the electronic circuits. I will admit that took a little bit of a... Uh, it took a lot of copper actually. Uh, quite a lot of copper and got more of this sulfur goo. That's the only problem about these sulfur torches, they drop this sulfur goo, but it's quite useful, it works as bone meal and all stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we're ready to actually make the solar panels now, which is uh, pretty epic, so we can grab some of this stuff out of this chest over here. And uh, you know what we can do, we can go and uh, put the that there, in fact it's uh, that in the middle. Uh, the uh, GUIs with this is a little messed up at the moment because the NEI, uh, where it places the recipe down, actually places it in the wrong place at the moment because they've added this plan bit at the side, so uh, it's caused a few uh, mishaps with this, but uh, you know what, we uh, don't have to worry about it. So let's pop that in there, we'll pop another 9 in because that's all we're going to need. Uh, we'll put the uh, silicon plates in, we only need another 18. There we go. I don't want to put everything that I need in there, uh, don't need in there, and then lose it because um, I've not done this right. So there we go. So that's uh, that. Now, one thing we can actually do with this is we can make a recipe with this. And uh, that's probably going to be a good idea because we are going to be making quite a few solar panels. And um, it'd be nice to have a recipe for it in the future. So I can just come along, drop this down, and do it. So you just, all you do is place a blank thing in there and you click right. And that will give you a solar panel plan now uh, the way you make these plans is it's a little bit of indigo dye which is from an indigo flower and uh, just a sheet of paper and all you have to do when you get this so let's put all this stuff in the inventory down here you just pop it up there it'll give you the plan and then all you have to do is click it and everything that is in this little inventory down here actually gets took out for the recipe you don't have to lay the recipe out so they're really really awesome and that's one of the thing reasons i want to start using the project tables more is it just saves you so much time uh, overall so now we've got a few of these basic solar panels. I think I'm going to upgrade to four of these advanced ones if I can afford it. Uh, I am going to need lots of advanced alloy, but we're going to need these advanced machine blocks, which is refined iron, uh, bear in mind, so it is fairly expensive. 
So uh, what's in here? That's copper. We can probably take some of this uh, iron dust out if we've got any. Is it still got the iron going through? Yes, it has. You know what? I'm tempted to smelt a stack of iron, but that would be a, a huge waste. Um, uh, what? Do, you know what? Shall we just make uh, one for now, and uh, we'll see how good they are? Because I know they are pretty good. So let's uh, do that. I uh, will do this with uh, this either side. There we go. That gives us our advanced machine block. We need two advanced circuits, which is a little bit of redstone, some glowstone, some lapis lazuli. Uh, so we might need to get some more redstone, uh, some lapis lazuli, and uh, we've got some glowstone in one of these chests over here, I believe. Uh, let's have a look. Have we? Yes, we have. Good. Uh, so we can... Oh, I need to use the project tables more, like I was saying earlier. I need to start using them and get into a habit of using them because they are awesome. So that's that. Uh, we can put some uh, lapis there and there, and uh, some glowstone there and there. And I think eventually, I've set up a little sugar cane farm outside of our base. Uh, I want to get to a point where I can just have a, a plan for everything I make the most, and uh, that should be pretty awesome then, because then we can just go along and say, "Oh, we need advanced circuits," or "Oh, or, or we um, need oh, we need a generator." Let's just go and put the plan in there, put the stuff in there. Let's go and make it simple as that. Uh, so uh, yeah, so there's two advanced circuits. You can place them either side with that there, the advanced alloy, uh, the solar panel there, and we need the iridium glass panes now, which are a little bit complicated. It's reinforced glass, which uh, let's go and grab some glass out of this chest. I believe I've got some in here still. Yes, we have. And we're going to need a little bit of this uh, reinforced glass. Now I'm going to leave the recipe in here for it just because it is a little bit... Uh, so let's grab two of them, that should be enough for all of these uh, what we're going to be making. There we go, uh, we'll put this uh, reinforced glass uh, with some irradiant iridium. Now we're going to need six per one, so that is twelve. Uh, you know what, we're going to need another one of these seven uh, stacks, there we go. Uh, so we're going to need some iridium now, which is uh, quite expensive, we've got some iridium, iridium already, so all we really have to do is uh, grab this and uh, place it in the compressor. Now to make this we need two per one, uh, so we're going to need six in total of this compressed iridium. Uh, now I am going to put 12 in there, 18, uh, 24. Now that should be enough for four of these advanced solar panels, which I'm going to make in the next little uh, cut between the video, because we haven't got everything to make it at the moment, we're just going to make one, and then I'm going to cut the video, and then we're going to make the rest off camera, just because there's so much of uh, stuff to do, and I haven't got everything ready at the moment, I need to go and macerate most of the awesome from the quarry, because, as you can see over here, we're in low on refined iron and iron, which we need for the advanced machine blocks. So, I say so a lot, I noticed that the other day actually, um, it's quite weird. So, yeah, that's the most of that. We, uh, okay, so we're going to need reinforced glass. We've got that. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need the uranium, which is some glowstone. So, let's have a look if we've got any more glowstone. If not, we have to have a little trip to the uh, nether. Some more there. Is there any more anywhere else, though? Some uh, blocks there, which we can take. Uh, yes, there's plenty there. Okay, let's uh, pop these blocks down. Smash through these. There we go. So that's 33 glowstone. That should be plenty for our u uranium. So let's go and uh, shove some of this together. So from what I saw, it was that surrounded by that. And we need three to start off with. Uh, in fact, we need six per one, don't we? So there we go. And uh, we need to put this with the uh, reinforced glass. Let's do that. Three, three, and three, 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 and three. Oh, we get. Oh, wow. That we don't need as much as I thought. Awesome. That is that is actually really awesome. So let's pop that in there. So that is one of our advanced solar panels. Shiny. Do 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 do. Uh, let's make sure our wrench is charged. Yes, it is. So we're gonna take this along with our EU reader, and we're gonna place this up on the roof. And we're going to see how much power this actually generates, because I've not tried anything before with this. Uh, I know a few of the other members on the server, including H, uh, I think um, Flare and Star have got some solar panels as well. And uh, Great might also have some as well. And um, they've all got this um, uh, some solar panels set up, and they are pretty awesome. Um, but I've not actually tried one yet, so let's... Uh, in fact, you know what? Uh, how do we make an array? Uh, just a minute. 
array. Uh, oh no, that, that's no longer in here, is it? Uh, so, solar. There we go. So we could actually recycle these solar panels we've got here uh, with the advanced ones and upgrade these to advanced. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, but you know what? Uh, yeah, let's put one here. And let's upgrade that to advanced. Kablam! So that is now generating 30 EU per tick in the daytime. Uh, sorry, it's generating 8 EU per tick at the moment. Let's stand off it and see if that increases it. In fact, I think, yeah, it's generating 8 EU per tick at the moment. It max output is 30 EU per tick, so that's pretty good. Let's just double check this line and make sure it's uh, working. 7.8 EU in, and 8 in, 8.62 gain. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we can go and check our MFE at the top of the building and see how it's charging up. Obviously, I am going to have four of these in total, and I'm going to probably make one more for the quarry. Uh, so, let's take a look. So that's all being drained for that. Uh, we're going to want to go to the bottom uh, machine, which is uh, draining everything. Uh, so it's this. So that is gaining power now with the the uh, things running and this running. So uh, you know what? That is actually really good for one advanced solar panel. Uh, oh, it's losing power, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to make the rest of these solar panels. Uh, since we've got all this iridium glass pane and we don't need any more. I can take this uh, spare uranium, oh there was one uranium out, we might as well let that compress. You never know when we need refined uranium. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and macerate some more of these ores. I'm probably going to do four stacks of the iron, what's up here, in this chest. And smelt this all into ingots and half of it into refined iron. So let's grab four. Uh, there we go, we'll grab a copper. And that should be everything that we're going to need. So I'm going to go and do that in between uh, cuts. And I'll be right back and I'll show you the updates, what we've done. And uh, when we're ready to set up the um, solar panels. Okay then, so we've got five machine blocks now. So we should be able to make five of these advanced uh, solar panels. So let's go ahead, we'll do that. Uh, we'll uh, put five down there, five down there, and five down there. That's perfect. We've got the perfect amount of glass. Uh, we need advanced alloy uh, here and uh, here, just drop one off, uh, what else do we need, uh, we need the machine blocks here, we actually need these uh, normal solar panels back up here, and uh, we need advanced circuits, so that's why I've got all this refined iron, uh, everything's all smelted by the way, it's all in there, it's still actually processing some of this stuff, there was a, a lot of stuff that came from that, uh, so we're going to need 10 of that, and then we're going to need to upgrade these to uh, advanced ones. So that's just a, a little bit of lapis, a bit of glowstone, and uh, some redstone around the edges. Uh, there we go. And for some reason, my mouse is actually lagging. It's weird. Uh, my game's not lagging. It's my mouse, which is quite strange. I need to get a new computer mouse soon anyway. Uh, I've had this one long enough. So let's uh, do that with uh, this and this. There we go. So that's uh, 10 of these advanced circuits, which we can split in half in here, get five of these advanced solar panels. Awesome. Uh, so what we're going to be using these for, we're, well, we're going to be using uh, four of these on the roof, and we're going to be using one of these at our quarry. Now, I'll explain a little bit more about the quarry later, uh, but for now I want to get this set up. So we are going to need a little bit more glass fibre cable just to uh, run to these, uh, because we've not really got enough. So let's uh, have a look in here. Uh, oh, we've only got ten. Uh, you know what, I'm probably going to have to make some more. Uh, let's uh, get our... Uh, we're going to need redstone and glass. Now, it's the glass what's probably going to be the problem, because uh, we don't actually have any, unless we uh, got these panels what we were using for windows and combine these to slabs and then combine these two blocks there we go that should be plenty uh, so glass fiber now I swear there's a better way of doing it with silver uh, have we got any silver yes we have up here I believe is that silver yes it is sweet and we're gonna need some diamonds as well so that's a uh, grab let's get 10 diamonds we've got the quarry running so we're, we're not really short of diamonds for now I will do that with that and uh, you know what, we're going to need more glass. We are going to need more glass. More glass. More glass. We haven't got any. Uh, we're going to have to do with what we've got then. No. It means we can't use all the diamonds we got. Uh, so let's do this. And let's make as much as we can. 30. You know, we might just get away with 30. Alright, so let's charge our wrench up very quickly before we head up there. There we go. And as you can see, our power is depleting quite quickly. We need to actually get a, a decent source uh, to resupply and 
random block, block there. Uh, yeah, so let's head up here. Oh, I don't think I've showed you, but I added win uh, windows to this. Yeah, that's a little late if I've not already shown you, but I think I might have done in my last episode. Can't quite remember. So the way I'm going to do these solar panels is I want a circle of solar panels. And I'm going to have an advanced one on each edge. And eventually they're all going to get upgraded to advanced. Uh, but for now I can't really afford that. Now this is a little bit of a waste of glass fibre cable. Or glass fibre should I say. Um, but yeah it's fine. So let's go and get this. Uh, not enough uh, power for lossless. Can we charge it up in here? You know what I think we can. Yes we can. Uh, but that's not charging up very quickly. Uh, can we reach our MFE? You know what? We might be able to. Might be able to sneakily reach. No, we can't. Oh, okay. Let's just put one here for now. There we go. Let's grab our normal ones. We'll put these across here. Now, hopefully, these will get light. Uh, if not, we are a little bit lost with this. There we go. Let's do this. So, that is one uh, edge of the circle complete. Very nice. Now, these are all, in theory, going to get upgraded to advanced uh, solar panels in the future. So, to be honest, I don't really need to worry about where I place them. Uh, I was just placing them on the edge for symmetry. Uh, but, yeah, go on. We'll, we'll actually do this properly if we're going to do this. So, let's have a look at the power now. So, are we gaining power? Nope, we are still losing it. Never mind. We can place this in here, and hopefully once we've got the rest of these advanced panels down, uh, that should help us out a little bit with the power supply, and then we can head over to the quarry, and we can uh, go and set our engines up. So let's go up here, and uh, we will pick this solar panel up. Nice one. Pop that just down over here. Cool. Now, I believe if I use my lap pack and right-click this, it should charge it. Oh, why doesn't it charge it? Uh, it is supposed to charge the uh, tools, but it doesn't want to, does it? Uh, okay, let's go and fill this up again, because we are going to need to move one more of these solar panels. Alright, so let's fill that up quickly. Now, what's the power like now? Uh, we are gaining power. Awesome. Okay, now with two more of these advanced, that should be uh, a pretty nice setup now. Uh, and this is looking more and more like a Christmas tree every day, that's weird. Uh, it's not even Christmas, is it? So... Oh, we could call it the electric tree, or the solar tree, or the wind tree. Okay, so we'll fill this in. Yes, uh, we'll get rid of this one. Advanced on the edge, and we'll put down these two normal ones. Now, I am going to upgrade all of these, like I said, uh, to advanced panels in the future. Uh, it's just for now, I haven't really got the uh, materials to make it. Uh, but when the quarry's finished, we should actually be rolling in the materials and uh, we shouldn't have to worry about it. So let's just uh, use the rest of this cable up to make it symmetrical, uh, just so it matches, and we'll place the last one in the middle here. So once we've got the rest of the solar panels, I'll fill all this in, um, but for this episode, that's about it for this solar supply. Now we're going to head over to the quarry, and we're going to do some stuff over there, but before we do head over, we've got a few things to do. So I'm going to grab these, uh, where are they? I made some tin gears earlier. Uh, there they are. Uh, we need a piston, uh, which is just one redstone, uh, one iron, which uh, if we hold shift and left click we can get one out of there, and we need three cobblestone, uh, four cobblestone actually, so one, two, three, four, there we go. That's a cool little trick what I learned, if you uh, hold shift while you press a barrel, uh, you can take in single item out, which is really nice, so uh, let's do that, uh, we will do that as well as a piston, and we need some normal glass. I'll drop this uh, hardened glass off in there uh, because we're not going to need it. We need a normal block of glass. Uh, and um, let's have a look. Ooh, this, uh, some of this left. We might be able to make it out of this. Uh, so let's get two slabs and uh, turn that. There we go. Nice. And uh, all we need now is uh, three bits of tin. There we go. So this should now allow us to make an electrical engine. Now these are from Forestry, and uh, as you've seen earlier, they allow you to go from EU, which is glass fiber cable uh, from these MFEs, to MJ, which uh, is the same power as the quarry. So that's what I'm going to set up over at our quarry. So uh, let's pop a, a quick uh, portal down here so we can uh, get back, and uh, we'll head over to the quarry, and I'll see you over there. So we're now at the quarry, and uh, that is 
pretty awesome. You can see how much work it's actually done uh, since we set it up last episode. Uh, so let's slam this portal down here so we can get back if we need to and I'll just show you what it's done. So it's gone from, which uh, layer is this set up at? Let's uh, get a screen uh, It's Y64 and it's gone down, I'm saying like, uh, let's say Y42 maybe. That looks about right. Okay, so 40s. Oh, I thought you were, I wasn't far off, was I? Um, but yeah, that is pretty awesome. It's done a lot of work. And is that a, a thing over there? Uh, sorry if you can't see in the water, by the way. I just remembered that. It's a little bit dark. I'll have to brighten that up a little bit in editing. Uh, so yeah, so this is our quarry setup as you saw we set up last episode. I'm going to pick our Red State Energy Cell up and replace it with this one from back home. I went and collected that just before we headed off. Uh, just so uh, we've got a charged energy cell. Is this working? Yes, it is. And we should see items coming out. Nice. So uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn this off a second and you do that by opening this. These are thermal expansion items by the way. You turn them off just by doing that. So that should stop the quarry. Brilliant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the engine there. Uh, we're going to pop the solar panel here. I'm going to put one glass fibre cable in between. And I could just put this connecting directly to uh, the solar panel with no glass fibre, but I want to do that in case I want to add uh, anything else, such as an MFSU or anything. I don't have to pick the solar panel up then, and uh, then if I've not got my wrench with me, or I haven't got my wrench charged, I can add an MFSU or MFE or whatever right next to it without having to move the cable, uh, the sub panel. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, uh, we can actually get started. So I'm going to need one block of cobblestone. Uh, it's ironic when you actually need cobblestone, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to need that, so let's grab that, because I forgot to bring a lever with me. Get some sticks. Let's put together a lever. And uh, we'll turn this on. Now, this should actually help the quarry along as well, uh, this little engine. So let's pop this to turn on. Hopefully, uh, nothing comes down from the trees nearby. So this uh, should actually power the quarry just from the solar panel alone. Now, as you can see, the uh, red energy cell is turned off. We can just double-check that by... Uh, right clicking it as you can see no energy has been drained from that and uh, the quarry is running purely off the solar panel with the electrical engine which is nice that is that is nice it's not going very fast it's doing about one block every I'd say second second and a half but it's a nice pace to uh, be running at uh, for now and we can turn this energy cell back on uh, by just doing this there we go and uh, the energy cell's now on, and as you can see, the quarry is moving a lot quicker now. And it's uh, still using power from the engine, and then once our energy cell gets turned off, uh, or runs out of power, this solar panel will kick in, and uh, the engine will uh, just solely power the uh, quarry by itself. So that is pretty much my self-sufficient quarry. We've got the energy cell which boosts it while it's charged, and then as soon as this runs out of charge, the engine powers it until we uh, replace this with a fully charged one. Now, an idea I was thinking is having the engine connect directly to the energy cell uh, to keep that topped up with power, but I think that the engine wouldn't keep up, because I did do a few tests in the test world. Uh, you do need a couple of engines for that. So this is a nice setup for now. Uh, it's the same as what Orcs has got set up over at his base as well, uh, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, I think once this quarry hits bedrock, probably in between episodes it'll do that, actually, because uh, I'm going to be playing a little bit more, working on my base a bit more, Hopefully working towards upgrading my uh, solar panels. Um, this should hit bedrock and I'm probably going to relocate it and uh, to the, end of, uh, the edge of this. So it goes into the plains by him. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of materials from this. I think before we set up a second quarry uh, to replace this once this uh, gets down to bedrock, we want to get our sorting system fixed. Uh, but yeah, I think this is uh, time for the wrapping up point of this episode. I've just remembered we've got our portal gun. We can uh, shoot a portal and head back home. Sweet. Alright, so we do glitch out a little bit through these portals. Not quite sure why. I think it's a bug with the uh, mod pack at the moment. Uh, we can get rid of these now just by uh, doing that and hopefully that should help us. Yeah, there we go. Good. So that is about where the wrapping up point for this episode is. We've done quite a bit of stuff. Uh, got our uh, solar panels on the roof set up. So we've got four advanced on the roof. I can do just double check in a second. We can pop that there. Uh, so if you can hear any background noise, but that is a uh, team speak. Uh, I'm still logged into TeamSpeak. I've got to go and sort that out in a second. Um, so yeah, this is now charging from these engines. Nice. How are these full? Not too bad. And uh, we've got all them up there. So uh, yeah, one other bonus thing is I uh, I've got my industrial craft sounds back. I uh, can pop some copper in this furnace, and I can show you. So there we go. I, I went quiet for a bit so you could hear. 
Uh, but I've got them sounds back. It's just an option in the config file. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So yeah, I'm going to wrap the episode up here. It's been it's been long enough of me rambling on. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you all on the next episode. We're probably going to finish the sorting system off next episode and get the ores to be automated. As soon as they come from the quarry, get them to go into this chest here. Or I might replace this with an ender chest, uh, which is up there. So everything goes straight in here and goes to all the machines it's meant to be. That's why I've got the sorting machine there, actually. It's one thing I need to mention. Uh, the sorting machine's there, so... The stuff can go to the barrels, it doesn't need a sorting machine. But once we've got ores, we can put ores in there and send them to like a blue pipe over here to go to the macerator and so on. So yeah, <laughs> finally, uh, it's time to wrap the episode up after all that. So yeah, I'll see you all on the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, a like would be really awesome. And I'll see you all uh, on the next episode. Don't forget to share the video uh, to your friends if you think they'd enjoy this uh, video. And I will see you all on the next video. So bye and kudos music. <laughs>